Hi lovelies, welcome back. This is Learn Biology with Annie and I am Blessing. In the last video I made, it was a slideshow on diffusion and osmosis. Have you watched that video already? Why not go and give it a watch so you can understand what I'm explaining in this video. And of course, do try and follow this page if you have no use that doing that. This page is all about biology. We learn biology here, we teach and learn biology here. In case you are a student or you are a lover of biology and you want to learn more about biology or you want to understand biology better so you can write exams and all of that, please click follow this page and of course share the video. Okay, in the last video we are looking at diffusion and osmosis. I have given a definition of what diffusion is. Can you still remember? We said it is the movement of molecules or ions of solids liquids and gases from a region where they are in high concentration to a region where they are in low concentration until an equilibrium is obtained, right? And then we define osmosis as movement of water molecules only from a region where these water molecules are in high concentration to a region where they are in low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Now let's put a little light into these definitions because these definitions are quite important in biology. When we are talking about diffusion, we are talking about molecules. These molecules should be either molecules of liquids, solids or gases moving from one region to another. And the region where they are moving from must be high. They should be high in that region where they are moving from and of course low in the region where they are going to. And from this movement, equilibrium should be attained. That is, a point should be reached where the number of molecules you have here is equal to the number of molecules you have here. That is what we mean by equilibrium being attained. Okay? For instance, you spray a bottle of perfume in the corner of the room. That area where you spray this perfume has a high concentration of the molecules of this perfume. But diffusion is taking place in the sense that these molecules or gases will now be diffusing, will now be moving from that region where you spread it to the region where they are not at all, to the area of the room where they are not at all, until you begin to perceive that smell in that other area of the room. So you say these molecules have diffused from where they are in high concentration to where they were not, or where the concentration is low. Alright, equilibrium is attained when you begin to perceive the smell of this perfume in every corner of the room. That is a little example of diffusion I can give now. Then in osmosis, take note, we said osmosis requires only water molecules. Unlike diffusion that involve molecules of liquids, molecules of solids or even gases, osmosis is a special case of diffusion that requires only water. So in osmosis, only water molecules are moving. And there must be a semi-permeable membrane, meaning there must be something in between the medium where the water molecules is moving from to the area where it is moving to, okay? So you have a region where you have high molecules of water, you have another region where you have very low molecules of water, and then there must be something in between them, which is what we call the semi-permeable membrane. This membrane should allow molecules of water only to pass through from this region to this region until an equilibrium state is attained. So we say osmosis is a special case of diffusion requiring only water and a semi-permeable membrane. No semi-permeable membrane is needed in diffusion and diffusion involves solids and liquids or gas molecules. Is that understood? Let me just stop the video here because I wouldn't want the video to be long. In case you have any problem understanding this, please engage this post. Let me get to lose, but I know where else to strike my explanation. Thank you so very much for watching. Please look out for my next video. Give this video a like, please, and of course, share. Share so that others can get to know about this page. And give this page a follow if you have not yet done so. Thank you once again, I see you. And this is Learn Biology with Emmy. Meet you in my next video.